Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today it's going to be the first video slash episode of my paperback series. Next week I will be returning with a Dollar Tree haul. Okay, let's get started. Okay, everyone so one of the main important materials that you're going to need is going to be paper bags i purchased this 40 pack for a dollar 25 at dollar tree other stores sell them as well like walmart target and so on so um for this project you're go i'm going to use two so let's open this up and I'll be right back. Okay, two bags. I've taken them out of the packaging. You can use any colored of paper bags. Dollar Tree does sell different um, patterns and colors in paper bags. But I decided that for this project, we would appreciate and take advantage of the brown paper bag. So, one of the main supplies you're going to need, paper bags, some sort of adhesive, whether it be a glue stick, a, a glue tape runner, a glue gun, or double-sided adhesive, which is what I'm going to be using. Uh, six by six paper pads. I mainly got summer and spring themed. I will also be including some book paper washi tape I'm going to be using these um, patterns and some die cuts so at the moment we're going to need one paper bag actually both and what we're going to do is um, grab the paper bag and fold it in half and that includes the folding as well. So not like this, but the whole way. Okay. You can use your finger to score or to put pressure or um, a bone folder. I have no clue where mine is right now. Actually, I do. The reason why I like a bone folder is because it makes the folds a lot more cleaner than like using your hands you can actually put more pressure and another thing you can do is use a scoreboard and actually make the folds yourself okay so i just finished making the first fold with my first bag now i'm going to be moving on to my second bag And same, we're gonna repeat the same exact thing. Okay, and just like that, we've done our folds. Okay, now that we have our folded bags, we're going to face them together on the flap um, way. So make sure both flaps are here and we're going to adhere these together. So well, you guys can glue stick this. Like I said, use double-sided tape. I'm using a, a double-sided, I guess this could be considered double-sided tape. I got this one from Dollar Tree. My cat stepped on it, so it's a little wonky, but um, to start adhering, I'm going to focus on the edges because I am not going to cover everything because I personally will consider it a waste. I feel like if you just cover your edges for the most part, it will stay secure. If you're using a glue stick, maybe then I, I would coat the middle. But for this purpose, I feel like 
it will be fine this way um an idea that i have mentioned before is doing it this way only covering the bottom adhering it this way then you'll have a third pocket here in the middle i will not be needing that third pocket so i will be covering it up so now we're going to peel these pieces okay i am back now so we're going to be adhering these together so your first step is to make sure that they're even the best way that i like adhering it is putting the unsticky part on top so that's what i will do making sure that they're even at least for the most part that there might be some imperfections but that's what happens with paper crafting there's no such thing as perfect i'll be using my bone folder to actually put pressure onto the sticking i'm gonna open the flap and actually put pressure on it okay And then the next thing we're going to be adhering, you don't have to do this part, but I like to do it because I like making pockets. So grabbing our adhesive again, we're gonna grab this and we're gonna open it up. And the benefit with most of these bags is that there's already a line telling us where it ends. Not all of them have them, um, I think the party bags don't really have that marking, but most paper bags do. So what you're going to be doing is grabbing some tape and putting it one strip right here and one strip right here. So I've already adhered these. I'm going to peel them off. Piece one. not wanting to peel off give me one second okay now that we've taken off uh both pieces we're going to tape them add a little pressure just to make sure that they stick and now we have a little pocket we're going to repeat the same thing with this okay now that we have adhered both sides of the little booklet that we're making it's time to start decorating it so this is going to be my cover and for my cover i am going to decide to pick a cover okay i'm going to look at this one and see if there's any matchy one that calls my attention These are the back designs as well. After looking at all of them, I think the winner is going to be the sandals. I feel like the sandals goes very well with the theme as well as this backing right here that's waves it came off by accident but it actually ended up working out because i'm going to be using these i wanted to do a summer theme i'm just going to browse through this one to see if there's anything that calls my attention i doubt it because it's mainly summer theme but i mean not summer theme spring theme but if I see anything that calls my attention, of course, I'll pick it out. Doesn't really seem like anything is calling my attention. No, so we'll not be using that, okay? So now that I have my three pieces of um, paper, I'm going to trim 
um, the cover to size and you can always just eyeball it, you know, put it like this, turn it backwards, trace. I'm going to use my paper cutter. Okay, now that I'm back and I cut my piece, I'm going to be adhering it to the cover. Okay, so once again, I'm putting it on the corners. I'm going to score on top of it, not score, scrape on top of it, and then peel these off and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've cut and adhere the backing, I'm going to be um, putting it on the cover. I'm going to be using my bone. Okay. So now that we have the cover, we can actually decorate it. Okay. I wanted a little bit of everything in this cover, so I'm okay with how it looks. Okay, moving on to the cover. Um, I am going to add some of these, um, summer pieces into the pockets. I feel like it would be a nice touch to give to the person. So I'm adding a couple on this side and a couple on this side. So that is what I'm going to use for that piece right there. Something fell. And then I have these two pieces of scrapbook paper. And I think I'm going to incorporate them right here on the pockets. So I'm going to add some right here because this one is not always... I'll add some like this. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is how the first cover looks like. This is how the second cover um, looks like. I have this extra piece of scrap right here. So I'm going to work on decorating it. I think I'm going to tear a piece right here and just adhere it. But I was thinking about doing maybe like a, a paper backing first and then doing the cover, the, the piece right here. Okay, and I'm back. So I'm going to adhere this piece right here and I'm going to tear about that much. So when, you, when you're tearing to get an exact shape, you want to use your hand. And then you just tear like that. Mm. I feel like it's a little unfinished, so I'm going to tear a little bit more. And I don't like this piece, so I'm going to face it a little bit. And there we go. I don't like this piece, so I'm going to tear that as well. Okay. and now we have this piece there's two things that you can do with this piece for example you can only adhere right here and right here and make it into a pocket which is what I'm going to do because when I um, use this for my pen pal I'm going to incorporate some pieces of paper in there so I will be making this into a pocket but you can also just adhere it and put something on top if you have an embellishment. So in to make a pocket you just adhere this area 
in this area, the long area. And you're basically making a seven. Okay, and then you're going to be adhering on the base, like so. So now I have this pocket where we can put um, anything. I'm going to put some sticker clippings in here. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this pocket. The benefit about um, these is that here I... I usually put in bigger items. I put in my pen and pencil letter in here and then bigger paper like a mail tag or um, washi samples. I can also incorporate washi samples right here if I'm doing a small tag, but I'm going to be sending this person a big tag. So I will be incorporating incorporating it in here. So in order to add a little, a little bit more of detail, I'm going to put some washi tape. I'm going to be using this heart and feathered washi tape. I haven't used it before, so this will be my first time using it. So I'm tearing the opening. And I will be putting it on these two sides so for this I'm going to be putting it on this side and as well as on this side Okay, so now that we have this, I'm going to be just tucking in the edges right here. Now with this piece, I'm going to actually tear it. No, actually, with, these, with this piece, I'm just going to tuck it in, in the fold as well of the bag and closing it making sure it actually sticks okay and now we we finished the first flap of the book i will be going to the second one personally i do not want to add um that much to this side because it's just going to be used for embellishment purposes so i'm going to be using um this small piece of paper that i have right here i'm going to trim it even Let's see it's a little bit slanted so i'm gonna trim it even and i'm just going to be incorporating it in this corner right here So now I will be adhering like so. And I will be adding a summer um, sticker. I want one that's kind of big, so let's see what I can find. Hmm. I like this one that says summer break and I'll probably do the sunglasses. I will be putting the summer break actually 
putting a summer break sticker in the middle. Then I will be getting the sunglasses. One will go right here and one will go like so. Like that. I'm going to make a thin border. Like so. Even out the, the bends. And I'll be tucking in the extra pieces onto the fold because nobody's going to really see them. Okay. And then I will be adding more. I will be adding more tape probably right here to close it off. So I'll fix it. There we go. Again, I will tuck in the excess. A little tip for washi tape. You can always put adhesive at the bottom. And then put the washi tape on top. And I will make it last longer. Because this will be inside an envelope, I'm not really worried about it. But if it, it is something uh, you can do if you're going to be ma mailing this, especially if it's going far. But yeah, okay. And that concludes it. You can also put something in the back if you'd like. I am going to put my Instagram handle in the back as well as my name so the person knows who gave this to her in case she happens to forget it or she plans to keep it she can have it and remember who uh, gave it to her um so yeah this concludes my haul um one last idea that came to mind is getting some twine and wrapping it around tying it as a present or you can even hole punch some holes and tie it right here poke holes put eyelets and put ribbon a rubber band or tie it this way there is or elastic but yeah there are so many ideas but i wanted to thank everybody for watching my first um live tutorial on my paper bag series uh i apologize for the little fails and mishaps I'm working in a very small area and this is my first time crafting, uh, making a video. Well, I have crafted, but my first time crafting while recording. So there might be some imperfections, but I hope to work them out in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you would like to continue seeing the paperback series or if you would like to see something else just let me know my comments will be open my instagram comments will be open and my instagram message um will be open too so yeah thank you so much and i hope everybody has a great day bye